What's up guys, quick announcement. I will be coming to New York City. August 31st, a meet and greet, Q&A, lift some weights at Solace Gym, which is dead middle of Manhattan, uh, 7 p.m. again on August 31st. If you want to RSVP, it's totally free. All you have to do is email info at newyorksolace.com. So to RSVP, it's just info at solacenewyork.com. Let them know you're coming. I'll see you guys there August 31st. August 31st, 7 p.m. See you guys there. What up fam, Salam Mike in the kitchen. Uh, as hopefully you know, I just got back from shit, maybe three, four weeks of travel within the last two months. So I've been on the road a ton. Uh, obviously on the road, eating out is an issue. I try to do my best when making decisions, but I also like to try the local cuisine and eat some of the good food while during my travels. Came back a little heavy, uh, about 213 pounds. My lowest ever was 208. And now we got about eight weeks. Some of that's obviously water, but uh, I want to get back down sub 205, closer to 200, almost in the 190s um, by the end of September. So we're into July right now. Uh, luckily enough, with when I am at home, uh, I have the support of Bite Meals. Shout out to those guys. You can use code SILENT uh, and save some money. Check out there. But they send me meals, which... One, they're delicious. They're things I can't cook. I talk about that a lot. There's a lot of these food prep companies out there and they just basically send you steak and rice. I was like, dude, I could cook steak and rice. So uh, I get a lot of like their pastas and also their pizza, which the macros are fucking sick and it tastes delicious. So um, when I'm at home, I eat that often, two or three times a day. Uh, I do like to eat out and eat Chipotle here and there because it's uh, easily measurable while I'm dieting and it tastes delicious and it fills me up. Uh, and then I'll also cook maybe one meal a day. So between those combos, it's typically how I eat when I'm at home. And then I sprinkle in these snacks that are kind of my flexible side, the more diety side. Obviously, Chipotle is a little bit flexible, but when you break it down, it is just rice, beans, meat. Um, so this is a little bit more flexible side. Grocery haul, welcome to it. Probably the first grocery haul I've done. Um, training is gonna get locked in as well. Training six days a week. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday is gonna be weightlifting. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday will be powerlifting, accessories, Sprinkled in on all three. Hopefully you guys stick around for some of that footage. Weekends, what we're gonna try to do is a little bit of technique diet talk, as well as that series that I promised a long time ago where I'm critiquing your form. Uh, more information if you want to uh, send in videos to be critiqued. So starting, I like water, but I like to be hydrated with a little bit of taste, so La Crux. Uh, it's just sparkling water. I literally think there's nothing in it. We'll go to the ingredients to be sure. I know there's zero calories. <clears throat> But literally what's in it is carbonated water and natural flavor. So um, sometimes when I just need to sip on something and not chug water, I go there. Picked up some tips from the man, Alberto Nunez. Um, we'll get to those tips, I guess. But cereal, I chose a fatty, gross, fat kid cereal. Uh, three grams of fat, 22 carbs per cup. <clears throat> I could eat it just by itself um, with... I use Fairlife milk, it's like a protein milk. They filter out some of the sugar uh, and the fat and it tastes pretty good in cereal or coffee. Um, but because I have a large appetite, we're gonna eat this guy with this guy, some Greek yogurt. Um, this is the tip I picked up from Alberto. He ate a ton of Greek yogurt and he eats like the real natural, no sugar type shit. This has a little bit of sugar, but still in one cup is 18 grams of protein, 13 grams of carbs and zero grams of fat. So I'll mix these two. Tastes delicious, it'll taste like Froyo, um, and that'll be my wonderful snack for the day. I also got just the cups in case I wanna get it to go. A go-to of mine while I'm eating, um, whether I'm bulking or not, is beef jerky. Buy it at a grocery store, then you'll have to take out a mortgage for it, but if you buy it at a store, store, like a, or if you buy it at a gas station, dude, there goes the joke. If you buy it at a gas station, you'll have to take out a mortgage, it ends up being like 15 bucks for this. Uh, but if you buy it at a regular grocery store, it's not too bad. So uh, macros, one fat, five carb, 12 protein. It's just, again, something I can eat um, while I'm chilling, get a little extra protein in, and it tastes delicious. What else we got? Popcorn, for those that have been around a while, I'm a huge popcorn fan. Um, the volume that you get from popcorn is great. I can eat a whole bag of popcorn, and ends up being about 50, 60 carbs. It's super filling, and it also, for me, again, with a little bit of this fat kid mentality, it helps that snacking nature that I have when I'm on the computer or I'm watching a movie or I'm watching TV, I'm winding down the end of the day uh, and I need something in my mouth. Um, that helps a lot. 
Last but not least, my caffeine consumption, uh, diet drinks. I know there's a lot of talk about it. Uh, artificial sugars, this and that. I don't overstress it and I don't overdo it. In moderation, the amount of artificial sugar that will be in an energy drink or diet soda is a lot less than the amount of sugar that will be in a normal soda because they are much sweeter. So um, refer to much smarter people on me about the actual health effects. I think one, we don't know uh, the total amount of effects of, of un, um, artificial sweeteners, but uh, I try to do everything else in my life to be a little healthy, cardiovascular, lift weights, sleep good, practice my brain power, so I'm not gonna stress on the artificial sweeteners. Quick grocery haul. Today is a rest day, but I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. I'm just gonna chill out, extra hydrate. We'll talk about my macros maybe soon, what I've adjusted again, um, because I've learned from Alberto, time to weight lift tomorrow. Meetings, email, regular life shit. I bought a new car. The car needs some work. When the car's done wor uh, with its work, I'll reveal to you guys. Let's go. Life errands all morning. It is currently 3.10. I'm about two thirds done with my food, talking about nutrition a little bit today. Um, my new calories uh, from a little bit of ideas that I got from Birdo and things. I'm lowering my fat, I'm trying to fig figure some things out. So I got, um. 280, 290 carb, 50 to 60 grams of fat, 200 grams of protein. Training six days a week as I went over before today is weightlifting day. I'm actually pretty excited for all my weightlifting days. I got my fresh socks. Shout out to my moms and my sister. It's my birthday present. That's my dog Cassius. It's his actual picture on the socks, which is pretty cool. Don't know what we're doing. I'm gonna add back to whatever we're doing. So weightlifting days, I'm gonna do my own back accessories, probably just some rows and chin-ups, get things done with. Sipping on some coffee. Everyone asks my pre-workout, it's typically coffee. Been chugging water all day. Another pre-workout, an alfajores. Uh, it's like an Argentinian like cookie deal. It's like chocolate with a little bit of cookie, with a little bit of uh, dulce de leche in there, a little bit of caramel in there. Feeling good, excited to train. I was really, really sore yesterday from all the squatting. Squatted hard Thursday, weightlifted Friday, squatted hard Saturday, Sunday off. I just chilled, uh, slept good last night. I may go test drive some cars, looking for a new daily driver. Probably won't take you guys with me because I'm alone. It'll be weird filming at a dealership all by myself and test driving the car. But uh, maybe I'll give you an update after training. It's hot in the house, so I know it's hot outside. It's about 95, 100 degrees. Everything feels fresh, feel good. Excited to get back after training after a couple weeks of travel, things weren't optimal. I'm excited to make my gains back. Keep pushing this weightlifting thing, keep pushing this diet. We basically do some kind of snatch and clean variation every day, so we'll see what we get into. Ladies and gentlemen, I am sad to inform you this is some of the very last weightlifting footage you will be seeing for a while. Um, time to hang it up a little bit. Just taking a break from it. Uh, it was a great experience. A good, you know, four or five month experiment. Uh, saw some good improvements. Hit some okay numbers. Um, but what's been happening is, uh, one, I've been overdoing it. Uh, just blatantly. Uh, no, no excuse, but I was trying to power lift three times a week. Didn't want to lose my strength there. Trying to weight lift three times a week. Trying to improve there. Uh, and because my upper body mobility in the snatch is so limited uh, that my lower body gets some dysfunction in the overhead squat and uh, I end up really, really, really aggravating my quad and my hip um, so much so that I couldn't squat and I couldn't deadlift. So um, right now as I'm recording this, it's about a week after and I've decided to uh, take a break. There are some powerlifting numbers I still need and want to chase down, even though that overhead squat doesn't look too dang bad right there, especially if you guys scroll back and see the very first uh, video I did a long time ago. This is pretty dang decent, but um, that right hip and right quad just got so angry. So basically, I'm going to um, tabletop it, tabletop the weightlifting. I'm going to focus back on building my strength and the powerlifts. Um, no, they have not gotten stronger because of weightlifting. 
Um, no, do I think weightlifting will really help powerlifting? Um, a base of powerlifting can help weightlifting. Um, squats, pulls, maybe you could argue the bench not so much, but any kind of pushing power strict can help weightlifting. But uh, the other way around, I do not believe uh, it is beneficial. So I'm going to take a break, uh, get down to the body weight. Things are working well on the diet. I'm just training four days a week. I was also training five, six, seven days a week for almost a year straight. Um, and it's just hard to do. It's hard to do for anybody, especially me with all this dysfunction. I just couldn't do it. You can even see here, I was kind of doing a power, um, just kind of not being able to squat low enough. Uh, and I talked to Ben about that. The clean didn't hurt as much because uh, my bo lower body, I can move it how I want. But on a snatch, I just can't move how I'd like. For those that have done anything for a long period of time, and I'm talking over five years, over 10 years, uh, you know goals change, you know uh, paths change, you know things are always in motion. So now my goals are changing back to the power lifts. Um, I don't think I lost strength per se, but I'm definitely deconditioned in the squat bench dead, especially the squat because this hip is making it so difficult. Um, so I'm squatting once a week. I'm going to pull once or twice a week, adding in heavy stiff legs to get some of these hamstrings back. And then I'm going to bench uh, probably about twice a week and do some overhead, um, some type of delt work two or three times a week, probably one good pressing day and one good shoulder accessory day. Make sure that uh, all the muscles are ready to work, ready to get after it. I think I hit a decent um, snatch this day also and also a pretty decent clean. So hopefully you guys are enjoying that footage. Share it with your weightlifted friends. Do your boy a favor. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy the footage I've been dropping. Subscribe because we got a ton more on the way. Four videos a week. Some diet stuff. Um, back to the basics of strength training. Some hypertrophy work. Uh, two or three kind of vlog training style videos a week. We have the new series dropping every Sunday where I'm going to be critiquing your guys' form. And then in between, I'm still going to get some informational, some instructional videos. If you guys are interested, I will be in New York City, as I mentioned earlier in the video. 31st, um, we also have a free four-week program available by Kaizen in the description below. I thank you guys for all the support. Through the times, through the travels, on to the next one. I'll basically be following a very... Um, Similar program to the free four-week repeatable program that I have for you guys available. Look at that. Some kind of power jerk. I think I actually get pretty heavy with these, and I just forgot to move my feet. Uh, because the weights arguably aren't that heavy for me because I could strict press it, I'm just bad at moving. Here's Ben crushing some squats. I think we're near uh, 500 plus mark, maybe 520. All these kilo plates get me confused. Again, I do appreciate you guys. Mo videos dropping. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like. Solid Mike. I'm out of here.